Hey guys and welcome back to another brand new attack on Titan video. Yes, I might sound weird right now. I'm currently having sore throat for some reason and my voice might going to crack for some few part of the video. So please do not mind that. But yeah, here is actually something that is quite interesting that I found on Twitter thanks to Hina9, a very good friend of mine on Twitter that usually translates some very important attack on Titan or other stuff that is in Japanese to English. So here we have a seminar held by Kobe Institute of Computing I actually invited the staff of Attack on Titan the final season, Shingeki no Kyojin final season, 3D Works Express plane and studio introduction by 3D director Motoi Okuno and the producer Yusuke Tanawa. So here is a summarized translation from the one and only Hina9 and please 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 disclaimer for any mistakes. Um, again, you guys can actually find this one particular video on YouTube. I'll be linking it down below in the description of today's video but it's not going to be in, uh, It's there's no subtitle at all. It's just a pure Japanese talk show some sort of stuff. Basically this is a seminar that was held by Kobe Institute of Computing. So thanks to Hina9 for this very wonderful translation, we are able to understand what they were talking about in the actual seminar. So the first few intro, uh, the first few seconds of the video was just intro, self-introduction, both of them are from a CGI team. Okuno-san specialized in 3D CGI and Tanawa-san is Mapa CGI director. So the first question that was asked, what are the important things working in the field of creative profession? Mr. Tanawa says, first, you gotta start with drawing anyways. In whatever kinds of creative related jobs, where it's like us who makes animation or any jobs that creating pictures, graphics, illustrators, industrial designs, you gotta enjoy within yourself when you are drawing. It's a job after all. If you don't have any excitement or motivation, there's no way you can continue doing it. Of course, there are times that were difficult, but even so, you have to continue works that need to be done. So mindset is really, really important. Second question was the goal and the points to pay attention to in Shingeki no Kyojin. This is a very, very wonderful and interesting question. So, Okuno-san says, For Shingeki no Kyojin this time, there are various kinds of images that we have to make. The goal set is focusing on how can I do things within 3D, like if we wanted to do it in this way or so and so. And thinking about ways to achieve the ideal images we want, there are two important things. First thing, Shingeki no Kyojin is a huge work here. It's a work that needs to prioritize drawing side. That's the first condition we ever considered. In order to produce a sense of unity in the images through absolute team and the series itself, that's also one of the goal. Anyways, to ensure 3D that doesn't appear out of place like for an object on screen, we always working on to address this issue. And again, regarding this issue, not only the look, which is the physical appearance, of course, the most criticized part we receive is the movement. Damn, they know. To make sure people reaction doesn't become like, ah, oh, this is CGI. With that aim in mind, we've been trying our best to work on it. And that's how we produce the part two animation. Around here, around the part two, the tatakai the fights keep on going right yes there are also 3d works like pixar and so forth they utilize both drawings and cgi but most of the time you wouldn't mind about cg when watching a full 3d show right but in a sakuga work which is 2d and 3d are totally different tools it's so obvious on screen so first we have to make them fit in Please be noted that Sakuga work that was a mention is not our commonly perceived Sakuga's crazy animation, Arifumi Mai. No, it's just referring to the works that use, which is hand drawing some kind of 2D shows. 
Okay, let's continue. But in terms of the method our studio take in a show that focus so much on looks, we are using 3D to overcome the actions that's hard to portray by hand-drawn or those require tedious amount of hand-drawn frames, we will use CG as much to resolve that. It also has advantage to help animating objects that require intense, frequent, slash, continuous motions. But the difficult topic is how to properly utilize this tool without making it obvious among 2D drawings. A challenge we have to continue to address on. And the third question, as creator, do you watch and study the works? Tanawa-san says, yeah, there are high expectations works among industry, also creators that I personally like. I would want to know what kind of works my favorite creators doing here. Not only as fan, but I'd ask if I'm the creator here, what will I do here? What kind or style of work will I produce here? I will study them this way too. Skill of imitate drawing matters, but if you can retry actually drawing yourself, you will notice you can't draw exactly the same as the original. Then ask yourself why. Because the color you use or the balance? It's important to study these points yourself. And the final question was, what do you need to become a pro? Tanawa-san says, personally, what I feel the most is the sense of beauty. Like to determine which of these looks better. Anyways, when a problem arises, the sense to make a good judgment is also important. When it comes to describing something, thoughts or feelings usually be like, this is so cool, this is beautiful. Most of the time, the terms used are pretty unclear and ambiguous. In actual cases, when you were told to focus on create something that produces such feelings to make sure that products comes out accurately as what described, it is important to hold a high accuracy sense of judgment in judging things like that but also the decision on what kind of methods or styles are better make sure you can reduce unnecessary amount of work as much as possible and improve on the production speed with better speed you got more time reserved to work on hand and be able to further improve the quality and that's the end of the summarization. Again, thank you very much Hina9 for such a wonderful translation. Please do follow their Twitter account in the description of today's video for more translation and stuff. And what do you guys think? This is such a very informative talk and especially it's about Attack on Titan. This is such a an interesting thing because they actually acknowledge the fact that they are being criticized of because of the movement itself. So again, I really hope they'll actually improve much more in the part 3 of Attack on Titan. So yeah, those are basically it. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!